Okay, in my previous video, I showed you how to multiply binomials, just like you see here, these two terms times these two terms, and these two times these two, but I'm going to show you a different method, a different technique, other than what's called the FOIL method, which is what you would have seen on my previous video. Okay, on this video, I'm going to be showing you how we use the distributive property. So one thing I want you to take a peek at is we have 2x plus 3. If I remove that 2x, this would really just be saying 3 times x plus 5. Now, this is not a problem for most of you by now in your algebra class. You know that 3 needs to be distributed to both terms on the inside. All right, so 3 needs to be multiplied by x and by the 5. That's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to be using the distributive property, but now we have to do it twice and not just one time. So let's take a peek at how we do this, and let's get started. Okay. First thing you want to do is you're going to be writing out two separate distributions. You're going to use the first term and distribute that to each of the terms in the second binomial. And then you're going to use the second term and distribute that to each of the terms in the second binomial. So the first one's going to look like this, 2x times x plus 5. Well, the second one's going to look like 3 times x plus 5, which I was just showing you. Notice this stays the same. We just have to multiply all of these terms out, so here we go. 2x two time, two times x, that's going to give me 2x squared. And 2x times 5 is going to leave me with a positive 10x. Now I'm going to distribute this 3 to the x and to the 5, where I'm going to get 3x, and 5 times 3, or 3 times 5, is going to give me that 15. Notice that this term here has an x and this term here has an x. While this term has x squared, it is not like the others. They are not like terms, but these two are. So we're going to combine those together, and our final result would be 2x squared plus 10x plus 3x would give me 13x, positive 15, so plus 15. Our result is a trinomial with an exponent of 2, exponent of 1, and a constant at the end. Okay, take a peek at how that was done, and hopefully that all makes sense to you. I'm going to do it again on this other problem right here once I erase this. But basically, the big takeaway from this is that we want to distribute this to both parts and this to both parts. This is going to get you the same exact result as the FOIL method that you saw in my previous video. It's just a different way of going about it. Choose the method that makes the most sense to you and go with it. All right, I'm going to erase this and then we're going to work this problem out. Next problem, we have a binomial again being multiplied by another binomial, two terms, by. 3r plus 4 times r plus 5. So the first thing I'm going to write out is 3r times r plus 5. And then I'm going to do 4 times r plus 5. Notice I did this term distributed to both parts first, and then the second term distributed to both parts. 3r times r gives me 3r squared, and 3r times 5 would give me 15 r. Now I have 4 times r, which is going to give me 4r, and 4 times 5, which would give me a 20. These two terms here are like terms, so they need to be combined. They're both positives, so at the grand total, or what we'd get for a grand total of those would be 15, and a 4 would make a positive 19r. And that positive 20 is the only constant, so it stays positive 20. And again, we are left with a trinomial, one, two, three terms, okay, with our highest exponent being 2, 1, and then a constant at the end. This is another method in how we solve or multiply binomials together to simplify. Hopefully it makes sense, and good luck on your upcoming test.